Well, initially it would go to very high value things. So let's say somebody needs a lot of medical care or something. You know, often it could be like a 24 hour a day uh, nurse or helper uh, to someone that is quadriplegic or something like that, you know, or something that's really is in needs physical help. So that's the kind of thing which would be uh, life changing for a lot of people. Those would be the, the highest value initial use cases. This quote from Elon Musk moved us more than any other because it wasn't about machinery or engineering. It was about compassion. We need care in places where no one is present, need protection in places where danger exists, need reassurance in life so that no one has to struggle alone in old age and no one has to endure the feeling of isolation when left by themselves. We've all heard that Optimus was developed by Elon Musk and Tesla to assist humans with heavy, repetitive tasks, doing household chores and helping care for the elderly. But have you truly grasped the deeper meaning and potential behind that vision? Everyone knows that the ability to take on the role of a nurse isn't the only factor that determines the success of a humanoid robot. But let's be honest, it's a critical one. Hospitals and care facilities can't provide a full-time nurse for every individual. And nobody wants to buy a robot nurse that just stands around staring blankly at a patient, right? Recently, Elon Musk emphasized that Tesla Bot V3 will come equipped with significantly more degrees of freedom. An essential upgrade that makes the robot move and interact more like a human than ever before. It is expected to perform up to 3,000 useful tasks and is set to launch this November with Tesla's largest mass production rollout yet. So the big questions are, how much will this Tesla Bot V3 cost, and when will Tesla officially begin selling them? Welcome to Tesla Car World. First, whether these bots come with a high price tag or a more affordable one, our hope is simple. That every dollar you spend delivers more value than ever before. Because people are living with limited incomes, Government assistance is stretched thin, and retirement pensions aren't what they used to be. Yeah, you'll be able to customize the personality, customize the voice, and, and really kind of the robot will kind of get to know you as well and know your preferences. You won't even have to say things because it'll just kind of understand you. Recently, Elon Musk revealed that Tesla's humanoid robot, Optimus, may soon take on the role of a full-time assistant or even a 24 per 7 nurse. Yes, you heard that right. We're talking about a robot working side by side with healthcare teams, especially in high risk environments or situations where tasks are extremely repetitive. During a conversation with Tesla owners in Silicon Valley on July 27, 2025, Musk painted a vivid picture of a future where Optimus supports nurses by handling dangerous duties and providing crucial physical assistance to patients in need. Just think about that for a moment. A robotic nurse that never sleeps, never gets tired, and is always on duty. Optimus Gen 3 will be equipped with advanced AI, Grok 4, and will feature real-time health monitoring as one of its core capabilities. According to internal sources at Tesla, this robot can analyze millions of medical data points in just seconds, instantly adapt care protocols, and even handle complex tasks, such as lifting patients, repositioning equipment, and potentially performing basic medical interventions. More importantly, it will be fully autonomous in navigating and interacting with those around it. Optimus will come fitted with high-resolution cameras and precision sensors, engineered to move safely through crowded spaces and engage seamlessly with both patients and medical staff without disruption. What we must consider most carefully are the real-world impacts. In high-risk or high-exhaustion situations like infectious zones, injury-prone areas, or environments that push humans to their limits, can robots like Optimus truly make a difference? The answer might make you question nature itself. With a hand boasting 22 degrees of freedom and some of the most sensitive sensors embedded in its fingertips, Optimus is capable of astonishing finesse. You could see it just the other day at the Tesla diner, delicately adjusting its grip on an empty paper cup to avoid crushing it, then smoothly transitioning to serve popcorn without a hitch. Now picture that same precision in a hospital room. Optimus Gen Thoshirari could ease the burden on nurses by treating wounds directly and ensuring proper healing, helping to minimize the risk of infection.
This would allow nurses to focus more on clinical judgment and emotional care, while Optimus takes on the physically demanding and hazardous tasks. At a time when the world faces a critical nursing shortage, that's no small matter. But, yes, to be honest, things won't always go smoothly. Safety, reliability, and public trust remain major hurdles. Tesla still has a lot of convincing to do. Even with powerful AI and next-generation design, a single glitch or minor misunderstanding could lead to serious consequences. Cybersecurity threats, software errors, and unpredictable real-world scenarios aren't going away anytime soon. And on the emotional side, sure, a robot can assist with physical tasks, but it lacks empathy, adaptability, and the soft skills essential to true nursing care. Some experts have already voiced concerns about job security, or worse, the fear that we may lose the human element altogether in healthcare. So, while the future may look promising, the road to acceptance won't be paved by technical specs or flashy demos alone. It will require trust. Would you feel confident receiving care from one of these Tesla Bot Gen 3 machines when you're in need of medical support? Leave a comment, one, if you truly trust it, or two, if you simply hope it will work out. Thank you so much. Back to the question of pricing. Earlier this year, Elon Musk confirmed that Tesla could begin selling its humanoid robots by the end of 2025. He revealed that in the long run, the price of the Tesla Optimus is expected to range between $20,000 and $30,000 once mass production is fully underway. This means that in the initial phase, the cost could be significantly higher due to substantial R&D expenses, the lack of an optimized manufacturing process, and the broader integration of cutting-edge technologies. Based on our most optimistic estimates, the starting price for Optimus could land somewhere between $50,000 and $70,000. While the initial price may seem high, there's no denying that Optimus could be a valuable long-term investment, one that pays for itself remarkably quickly. With the ability to automate manual tasks across industries, from industrial manufacturing to elder and disability care, Optimus doesn't just cut labor costs it significantly boosts productivity. And as the technology continues to improve and become more efficient, the benefits of deploying these robots will far outweigh the upfront expense, especially in sectors where high demand automation and continuous performance are essential. So even if the starting price lands around $50,000, the long-term savings and added value Optimus brings can easily offset that initial investment. Let's not forget, this is just the early cost. Once Tesla scales up production, that price is expected to drop to around $20,000, half the cost of an electric car, just as Elon Musk promised. According to Musk, in its initial phase, Tesla's Optimus Gen 1 will be used primarily within Tesla's own factories, with over 1,000 units expected to assist in production and help fine-tune operational workflows. However, once Optimus Gen 2 is released, Tesla plans to begin offering the robot to external customers, including high-profile individuals and major corporations grappling with labor shortages, such as Amazon, FedEx, and Walmart. These companies are seen as the first likely adopters of Optimus. These early customers may be willing to pay $50,000 or more for one of the first robots, not just for its advanced automation capabilities, but also for its brand value and exclusivity. For individual consumers, before full-scale sales begin, Elon Musk has also mentioned that Tesla will launch a robot rental program, allowing people to try out Optimus before deciding to purchase. We anticipate that rental pricing won't be too steep, with estimates ranging from $100 to $500. And the challenges don't stop there. On another front, as Tesla pushes toward Elon Musk's vision of the Tesla bot becoming a true homemaker, Competitors are also making significant strides. So, how does Tesla Bot Gen 3 become the best homemaker with 3,000 new tasks? Just a few days ago, Tesla Diner officially opened its doors, and what better way to showcase its innovation than by having Optimus serve popcorn to customers? The crowd loved it, many even thrilled by the experience. A common thought began to emerge. What if I had a Tesla bot at home to serve me? That idea may no longer be just wishful thinking because Tesla. 
bot is slated to go on sale next year, though initially supply will be limited. You see, we'll have a working prototype within the next three months, and full-scale production is firmly on track to begin early next year. Degrees of freedom refer to the number of independent ways a robot can move. For example, a robotic arm might rotate, bend, or move up and down. Each of those movements counts as a degree of freedom. With a more optimized design, Tesla has been able to integrate additional joints, motors, and advanced sensors, giving Optimus greater agility and the ability to handle more complex tasks. Currently, Optimus version 2.5 is limited to around 1,500 basic tasks, but with version 3, that number could easily double. Why? Because the robot will be capable of performing a broader range of actions. While Optimus 2.5 can hold an egg without breaking it, Optimus 3 takes it a step further, cracking the egg, cooking it, and serving a fried egg on a plate. You get the idea. The more degrees of freedom it has, the more precise and adaptable it becomes. So reaching 3,000 tasks wouldn't be surprising at all. Still alongside the exciting news of the new version, Elon Musk openly admitted that developing Tesla Bot version 3 is an extremely difficult problem. He emphasized that no parts are off the shelf because, frankly, there's nothing out there that truly fits the needs of such an advanced robot. From motors and gearboxes to power electronics and sensors, every component is custom designed by Tesla. Recently, in a 44-second video posted on X by CEO Brett Adcock, the Figure Zero Two robot is seen standing beside a laundry basket, bending down to pick up each item one by one, then turning and placing them into a washing machine, repeating the motion about nine times in under a minute. However, after loading the clothes, the robot stops there. It doesn't add detergent or press the start button, indicating that its ability to operate machinery as part of the full laundry process is still under development. In contrast, a recent demonstration shows Tesla's Optimus dancing across a factory floor. The robot lifts its legs repeatedly, spins, slides sideways, and switches up dance moves, all while maintaining perfect balance at full speed with no support wires and no visual effects, as confirmed by lead engineer Milan Kovac. Comparing the two videos, Figure 02 impresses with its hands. The robot can delicately close its fingers, sense soft fabrics, and place clothing into a washer, something that has challenged many robotic arms. But when it comes to full body mobility, reaction speed, and the ability to remain stable during rapid movement, Optimus pulls far ahead, leaping, spinning on one leg, and shifting poses without a hint of instability. The remaining gap between the two lies mostly in the fingers. Optimus has just been upgraded to a hand with 22 joints, so the challenge of handling soft items is now only a matter of time. Musk declared, This is an incredibly difficult problem to solve. You have to design every part of it from fundamental physics principles. There's nothing off the shelf that actually works. So you end up designing every motor, gearbox, power electronics, control electronics, sensors, and mechanical components. He added that Tesla also had to train Optimus to use its limbs and sensors through neural networks. Interestingly, Musk once again compared Optimus to Tesla's electric vehicles, stating that at the core, both are robots, just in different forms. He emphasized that Tesla is applying the same AI optimization techniques from its self-driving cars, to the development of Optimus. That includes training the robot's limbs and sensors using neural networks. Musk also revealed that Tesla is working aggressively to ramp up Optimus production as quickly as possible. In a bold prediction, he stated that Tesla could be manufacturing up to 100,000 Optimus robots per month by the year 2030, an estimate that left us genuinely astonished. He emphasized that he would be very shocked if Tesla doesn't hit that target within five years. However, Musk was also candid in admitting that the first one to two years will be extremely challenging, with potential issues such as supply chain disruptions or internal errors likely to arise when developing a breakthrough product like Optimus. The Tesla CEO acknowledged that adding new features to Optimus 3 could slow growth, given the risk of supply chain complications or technical setbacks. We see this as a grounded warning considering Tesla's well-known struggles when scaling up production. The truth is, there's still a great deal of work to be done, and it needs to accelerate. 
Tesla Optimus isn't just another product, and Optimus 3 demands an even higher level of engineering sophistication. That's why we're genuinely looking forward to seeing what the prototype of this next version will actually look like. Initially, many assumed that Tesla's Optimus robot was being designed strictly for use in the company's automotive factories, with no indication it would serve civilian or broader industrial roles. But Elon Musk has since clarified on X that Tesla plans to roll out a limited batch of humanoid robots for in-house deployment starting in 2025. Elon stated, My estimate is that by next year, we'll see over a thousand, or even several thousand, Optimus units operating inside Tesla. Looking ahead to the future of manufacturing, one thing is becoming increasingly clear. It will be dominated by robots. Automation isn't just a choice anymore. It's a necessity for building a truly sustainable industrial ecosystem. Musk has long championed the idea of a machine that builds machines, and his ambitions for Optimus fall directly in line with that vision. Tesla's Giga factories already feature an array of robotic systems. In Tesla's latest demo footage, Optimus is seen walking through an active workspace full of machinery and human workers, navigating fluidly through an unfamiliar environment. Its ability to orient itself without prior mapping is noteworthy. Much like a person entering a new building and figuring out where to go, Optimus scans its surroundings, interprets visual and environmental cues, and builds a working model of the area in real time. In massive, complex facilities like Giga Texas, that level of autonomy is a game changer. Right now, the U.S. manufacturing sector is facing a labor shortage of around 300,000 workers. In warehousing and logistics, the gap is even wider. Between 600,000 and 700,000 roles remain unfilled. The concept of deploying robots to fill those gaps isn't new. What's changed is the AI behind them. Modern artificial intelligence has matured to a point where these machines can not only move, but also think, adapt, and act in ways that were impossible just a few years ago. And that evolution is what's pushing robots like Optimus into the spotlight. Elon Musk has a habit of setting his sights high, and his vision for Tesla's humanoid robot Optimus is no exception. He has suggested that this single product could redefine Tesla's future, potentially pushing the company's total value into the tens of trillions. In his view, Optimus may not just be a side project, but the core of Tesla's long-term success, with the possibility of billions of units in global circulation someday. It's an audacious outlook, but not entirely without basis. Across the tech world, belief in humanoid robotics is gaining serious traction. Venture capital is flooding into robotic startups, and analysts project that the industry could grow into a $38 billion market by 2035. Every few weeks, new players appear, from California to Shenzhen, all trying to carve out their niche in what's quickly becoming a global robotics race. What do you think matters most for a robot like Optimus to gain widespread acceptance, affordable pricing, advanced capabilities, or public trust? Please share your opinion in the comment section below this video. Thanks for watching our video. If you want to explore more exciting information about Tesla EV or Tesla Bot, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video. Also, make sure to subscribe to Tesla Car World and turn on notifications so you never miss our latest videos. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.